Good evening. My name is Bob Niemeyer, and I'm running for governor of the state of Oregon. Tonight, I'd like to continue our, our second installment of our uh, brief series on what's the problems that are facing the state of Oregon. One of the things that I came to a realization just last week on was that there's an awful lot of problems facing this state. When I first started in this endeavor, I thought maybe I would only have two or three pages of concepts or ideas of, of things that are facing the, the, the state in terms of the list of problems and stuff. Well, it's now over 25 pages long. And some of the things that are going to have to be necessary to solve some of these problems really do amount to having almost 20 uh, different constitutional amendments in order for us to do this that would all have to be done one at a time because our constitution was set up so that you can only make one change per constitutional uh, revision that the people on the state can vote for. So in an effort to try and come up with a way to cut back on that amount of time, the best thing that I came up with is rewriting the Constitution of the state of Oregon. Now that happens to be my campaign promise number three that I brought up uh, in our last conversation that we did last week, where I said uh, my campaign promise is that I will rewrite the state Constitution and have it available uh, approximately two years from the time I step into office. Now last week I actually amended that to say one year now, but uh, at the one year mark I'm going to invite the uh, county commissioners to get involved with this new constitution and work out the wording and complete it. Needs to be done by some people outside of the legislative process because uh, county commissioners are more uh, executive oriented type of people and know how to tell the government what to do as opposed to the legislature knowing how to tell the people how to live. So I've decided to use the Constitution or use the county commissioners as the people that supply the final version of the constitutional revision for the state of Oregon. Now I, in my website, bobneemeyer.com, I have an article that I've written called Burn the Trash, Burn the uh, Constitution. I'd invite everybody to go to bobneemeyer.com and, and read that. And it basically details out how when I was only eight years old, definitely a child, I did something where I bounced back and forth between my parents, uh, almost like a, a big crybaby like we see currently in our legislature, to try and take the trash out and burn it. And when I finally got so much underfoot under mom, uh, trying to fix dinner, she said, just go do it. So I took the trash outside and I built a little fire and I was watching the fun little flames dance around because back then when you burnt the comic strips, they had different color flames. And I looked up and I happened to see these little things going up in the air. The embers from the paper were going up in the air and actually starting to land on the oak trees around our property. And I go, oh my goodness, that's why they didn't want me to burn the papers. Uh, but I didn't realize that until after I had done that. My dad showed up and put the fire out with a hose immediately. I certainly de <laughs> deserved a good spanking for having done what I did. But dad just asked me, who would be responsible for a forest fire if it got started? And I said it would have been my fault. Dad never brought that up again. Uh, the rest of his life because I realized it was my responsibility at that time that if I started a fire it would have been my fault. So the fire was out and thinking back on that one little incident of being a crybaby I look at our Oregon legislature doing about the same thing crying over here and crying over there and trying to come up with a way around 
the Constitution, and all they've done is really start a fire with the, the Constitution by ignoring it so much. So I've decided to call this little project uh, the Phoenix Project. And you all know what a, a phoenix is. It's a bird that rises up out of the ashes. Our Constitution has been burned to a crisp, and it's time for a new one to rise up from those ashes. So again, I'm going to call the project of redoing the Constitution of this state the Phoenix Project. And I invite everybody to come along and, and uh, get involved with this project. I'd love your inputs. Please go to bobneemar.com. I'm definitely going to need some donations to continue running for governor of this state and would appreciate your support. Again, thank you for listening. Uh, next week's, uh, we'll bring a little bit of an update on the Phoenix Project about where we're going to start having meetings and continue on with this effort. Thank you. And this is Bob Niemeyer. Please vote for uh, Bob Niemeyer for governor. Thank you.